Yeah, it all boils down to that, folks. Um, we're lucky to be able to listen to <laughs> stories about it here today. So, um, what are you up to now? What, what am I up to now in terms yeah. of doing stuff? Well, I've been pretty much concentrating on being a dad for the last uh, four or five years. I think the last article I wrote was on, uh, you know, making hashish. That was for High Times in maybe 2001 or something. And uh, uh, <clears throat> that was the last time I grew also. And right. I had a very unpleasant experience with that in that uh, I did an experiment, not an experiment, more of a demonstration. I wanted to have definitive pictures of, uh, of different nutrient deficiencies. And so I, I grew uh, an entire crop with several plants that would be nutrient deficient in, in all different kinds of things like uh, manganese and zinc and iron and uh, sulfur, which I had never really seen, uh, and phosphorus and uh, potassium. And uh, took my photos through the course all the way from when the symptoms first started developing through budding, through har harvest. and. Uh, Having done this many times, I knew that I shouldn't bring the photographs to be developed until I had finished the experiment and was able to clean out the, uh -oh. the garden <laughs> uh -oh. and be completely clean before I brought them in to be processed. And I brought them to Kodak, since I use Kodak film. And uh, they left one of the dyes out of the, uh, out of the processing, so I now have 230-something slides of uh, wonderful slides but. that are all orange. Oh, no. Right? Oh, no. So uh, they're useless in terms of color slides, and uh, that really deflated me in terms of, because uh, you always want to, you know, bring new stuff, uh, and that was that was a biggie. I thought wow. that was something that everybody who grows could use. Uh, so that that really took the wind out of my cells, and so I, I just have taken a break. But I want to start, okay. I want to redo these books. I have thousands of great photographs. I have more information in the... Well, there's a lot, the, there's a, quite a proliferation of books out well, there in the I world. See, there's dozens of them, mm. right. Yeah, right. things have come a, a long way in sure. growing marijuana, although I'm not sure that they've been able to do it any better as a result. Uh -huh. But, um, well, listen, man, I really appreciate you being here. and. Um, just so you know that this book by Mel is the is absolutely the reason that I'm here today, folks. I was just getting back into growing years ago when I heard about Mark Emery selling seeds, met him, and uh, became inspired to be here today. So uh, I want to thank you for that too. Oh, you're very well. But um, we're thrilled to have you here, and um, I hope that you'll you will produce some more books and show us more photos and yeah. You know, I'll tell you one thing very satisfying about this book is that a number of uh, professional growers and other people who have written books have told me that this was the best book. What was that? Right? Yes, that this was the one that they really liked the most. Well, I've read yeah. it many times, and right. uh, I'll agree with those yeah. guys. <laughs> well, I appreciate well, it. Well, we'll be completely new at some point. <laughs> and uh, come visit any time, hey, and I'm glad to see It's been great being you. here. Oh, right. our pleasure. Right. Okay. Mel Frank, folks. Okay.